Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Black Clover M video. Alright, so this video is going to be a little bit about some rumors about the next banners on global server. Alright, if you guys haven't heard about the rumors, uh, usually based on what I've been following, the rumors have been pretty accurate. Alright, so the next season character is going to be Charlotte, uh, Fugilion, and also... What's her name again? Jack the Reaper. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, and it's going to be for this particular version of character. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, this one. Alright, these three characters. This is going to be for Global Server. Now let's talk a little bit about this, alright? Because I know there are some players that, you know... Keep in mind, first things first, this is rumors, alright? There's a chance that, uh, you know, they could change things last minute. But, uh, just take it with a grain of salt, alright? But let's just talk a little bit about this. Um... So far, if you guys have been playing Global Server, Global Server has been known to be a little bit different. A lot of things on Global Server uh, did not follow everything according to JP and KR Server, right? So the JP and KR Server, for example, I believe uh, there's a lot of things, including some of the limited challenges, including the Spire of Honor and stuff, right? Um, I believe they appear slightly later in the JP and KR Server. And also not to mention this particular uh, squad battle that we have recently, right? If you have been playing... Uh, do not forget about the Total War. We have this boss battle right now. Apparently, this appears way later in the JP and Global Server. I mean, JP and KR Server, right? Uh, and on Global Server, we have this, or we start having this on Season 2. Uh, this is going to be something that's a little bit interesting, and let's talk a little bit more about this moving forward, because uh, I enjoy playing this game a lot. Uh, I think this is my one of my favorite gachas right now, definitely, for sure. I do play this every single day, more than 2 hours, right? Uh, every single day to try to claim, uh, you know, you gotta play more than 2 hours to, to claim this anyways, right? Uh, as you can see there, I already play more than like, you know, one, 90 minutes is at least 1 hour 30, 30 minutes, right? So here's the thing about my thoughts on the game so far. I think the game is pretty good, but I wish a lot of the things could be uh, fine-tuned a little bit, right? I know that it's hard to follow completely the JP and KR server, maybe they want to rush certain things, and I get that. I totally get that uh, per se. Actually, for example, like this character right here, if you notice in the... Uh, recently, we got the latest character was uh, Kyato. Uh, what's the name? Kahono, Kyato, and Gifso, right? I believe uh, this guy right here. So yeah, uh, all these characters actually in the JP and KR server, they appear before the Season 2 characters. Let's talk a little bit about that, alright? Let's talk a little bit about... Uh, the seasonal characters. Uh, just backtrack a little bit to talk a little bit about JP server. So let's give you guys a little bit of insight because I find this pretty interesting as well. So uh, I was browsing through this, right? Uh, just want to share it with you guys on the K. Uh, this is the JP one, the JP Black Clover Mobile. You can see this is going to be the season two uh, character, right? They have swimsuit, you know, swimsuit Noel, and Gosh from season two. So this is what they have, right? Uh, we have Swimsuit Noel, Swimsuit Gauche, and Swimsuit Yuno. Now, Global never got Swimsuit Yuno. I'm not sure if that will ever happen soon. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the, the case at this point, right? It feels like they might be completely skipping this guy, uh, which is going to be a little bit uh, a little bit unfortunate, right? I would say. Um, that is going to be... I hope he will appear eventually, right? In a separate banner or something. But yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. I have no idea what happened completely. But you can see, for us, our Season 2 was... Um, Swimsuit Noel was the same. Swimsuit Gauche was the same. But uh, Yuno got replaced with Charmy. Now let's talk about uh, Season 3 then. Now Season 3... This is what they got in Season 3, right? For the uh, JP and KR banner. They have uh, Swimsuit Asta. They have Swimsuit Vanessa and Swimsuit Charmy. This is for Season 3 in the JP and KR server. As you can see, these are the three characters. Now ideally, global, we should be, if we follow everything in order, we should be getting this. Or at least like a variation of this. Maybe like Swimsuit, uh, you know, Vanessa, and then Swimsuit, you know, and then I don't know who they're going to slot in the, la the other one, but Asta will literally get it for free. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I do think it's kind of cool for, for them to do that for the global uh, server. I'm not sure if JP got him for free as well. I'm not entirely sure on that. But then on Season 4, uh, just so you guys know, then we will have this particular one, right? As you can see, Season 4 Clover Academy. So this is going to feature uh, Clover Academy uh, Charlotte, 
Clover Economy Jack, and Clover Economy Fugulian. Now this is going to be what apparently rumored that Global will be having next. So basically, our next banner is going to be this tree. Uh, we will be able to confirm that and finalize that in a couple of days, right? Right now, I think, uh, you know, just just got to wait for a little bit. But for now, that's going to be the, the rumor for now. Uh, pretty interesting, right? And then for JP server, this is for Season 4 and Season 5. They have this particular one. Season 5 was a bit uh, interesting. Uh, they only have two, which is the Halloween uh, banner character. That's going to be for Swimsuit Noel and... I mean not swimsuit, uh, Halloween Noel and Halloween Charmy. Very cute actually. These two characters, uh, they design it perfectly fine. So let's talk a little bit about the three characters that we are perhaps going to get on the global server. So we get a better idea, right? I think it's, it's better to have a perspective of what these characters can do. So let's go to the KR and Japan uh, PVE. Now if you notice, um, the three characters that uh, I mentioned earlier is going to be um clover academy charlotte right and then we have the fugulian clover academy and then we also have the jack clover academy so let's talk about uh these three characters per se who is going to be the priority right well, let's say if you decide to save you know you can pick like one character for free using the season of gate key or thing the key thing right if you can pick one Charlotte Clover Academy is going to be the best one out of the bunch. So Charlotte is a blue character, right? As you can see, uh, she is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, she has counter attack to the ally with the highest attack for one turn. Uh, this is kind of cool, right? Uh, maybe you can stack this with Swimsuit Normal. I'm not 100% sure on that. But she grants all allies 40% increase uh, attack for two turns. That's a lot of increased attack. Alright, so all attack, that means uh, it works for both attack and magic attack. So very, very strong per se right there. Our Charlotte also, uh, she will grant all allies 60% chance to counter attack for one turn on her special skill. So this is going to be a very, very good one for trying to farm, alright? If you have an, a character that for the first skill is an AoE uh, skill, or AoE, like area of effect kind of thing, giving them counter attack is going to be very, very good, right? Uh, applies 12% fortify to all allies on the combined attack, pretty good. Gains one skill point when attack. As you can see, she's all about you know she's all about like the counter attacking. When all allies belong to the technique type, inflict silence for one turn on the enemy team at the start of the battle. So technique type means blue type, right? So if you run like a mono blue team, she's gonna be very strong. Now uh, most of you guys are probably already done building your mono blue team. You probably have like Lotus, Mars, and then maybe like uh, Julius. And then you can probably include a uh, Charlotte in there, actually. Uh, you can use Charmy for sure, right, to heal stuff. But a uh, Charlotte might be able to help you farm even faster. Uh, for sure, it's going to be something to consider. Uh, giving everyone a counter is going to be something that... Uh, I can see this being extremely, extremely viable for PvE farming. Uh, but yeah, she's all about countering the enemy. I think her concept is pretty good. Uh, she's going pretty much going to be the... Like the best choice out of these three, right? And then next one is going to be Fugulian uh, Clover Academy. Now Fugulian is going to be a little bit different, uh, more of a PvP unit actually. Now if you intend to use him on PvP, you can see on PvE, he's like B tier right here, right? But if you look at this, if I toggle in the PvP, he's now a little bit higher. Where is he? Uh, Fugulian, yeah, he's like S tier right here, notice. He's like comparable to all of these others one. Uh, even Charlotte is actually pretty strong in PvP as well because of the counter thing, right? Uh, you can basically stack it with other characters. Uh, these two are really, really strong if you're looking for PvP perspective, but Fugulian might not be used in PvE much. Uh, Fugulian is going to be the red character. Now, the reason why Fugulian might not be used in the PvE much is because, number one, he's a red character. That means he's going to compete against what? Swimsuit Noel, uh, Red Yami, which is also very, very strong in PvE, right? So what is he all about? He's all about applying burn. You can see, uh, launch several small bullets of magical flame. So he's going to inflict burn, right, right here. You can see uh, continuous damage for two turns. Burn is ideally kind of decent uh, if you want to like slowly trickle the 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 you know slow the o the OT towards the enemy. But for me personally, I prefer to just burst down the enemy, right? Like then to just slowly like applying the the effect on them. So the skill two. Uh, inflicts burn on an enemy, dealing continuous damage for two turns. If the enemy is inflicted with burn, dispel barrier from him before attacking. All right, pretty cool. Uh, so if the enemy has uh, burn, then you can 
also dispel the barrier from the enemy. Uh, this can be used to counter Swim Suit Noel, if you think about it, right? Uh, but you gotta apply a burn on the enemy first. So this can be a... Uh, Dispelling Barrier can be a very good mechanic if you think about it, right? Not many characters have that yet. Now the special skill strikes all enemies with the Lion, right? Based on the number of burn stacks on the target, inflicts increased damage taken debuff before attacking. So if 1 stack of burn, 20% increased damage taken, 2 stacks 75%, 3 stacks of burn, gonna be 220%. So basically you can pair Fogolion with like other burn characters. Uh, I think the... There's a few other characters that can apply burn, right? Besides Fugulion, uh, there's the default Fugulion, and then there's the brother, I forgot what's the name, Leopold, I think. Leopold Vermilion, all from the Vermilion family. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll have more characters that can apply burn. I believe there was, um, I forgot what's the sister's name already. Um, uh, she just got announced on the JP server as well, right? So that could be an interesting one. So yeah, there's that as well. Again, can dispel barrier before uh, attacking. Dispels all stacks of burn. Uh, dispelling barrier again, very very cool, very very unique. And the combine attack, 30% uh, increased damage uh, to yourself if an enemy is taking DOT damage, which is the burn thing, right? So again, very very good synergy with himself if you use his skills in the correct order. Uh, deals 5% increased damage per burn stack on the enemy. So if the enemy has like four burn stack, for example, that's going to be 20% increased damage. That's a lot. When HP drops below 30%, gains immortality for one turn. Now again, this is also going to be very, very good in PvP, right? You guys know how annoying this is like to give like immortality and stuff. But yeah, uh, this is going to be the Fugulian uh, Clover Academy version. Very, very cool. And last but not least is going to be Jack. Apparently Jack is the least useful out of the bunch. Going to be an attacker and the green type attacker. Alright, so let's, let's look. Why is he not as good, right? So he inflicts bleed, uh, continuous damage, DOT, and self. Uh, when the enemy has bleed, has a 15% chance to stun the enemy. This is on skill 1. Not too bad, okay? So skill 2 applies one stack of miscalculation. So what is this? When you use special move, additionally attack a random target per stack of miscalculation. Alright, very very interesting. But you need the special move, and special move is usually a uh, very very long cooldown, right? Applies increased penetration and applies increased accuracy to himself for two turns. Okay. And then last but not least, this is the special skill. Uh, performs additional attack per stack of miscalculation, dealing additional damage equal to 80% of attack and magic attack to a random enemy. Inflict stun for one turn on a detonated target. So this is going to be uh, a single target. So, you know, Jack can also stun. Very, very cool. But to be fair, Julius can also do that, right? So that's not unique to Jack. Uh, Julius is already here for a lot of players. There's that, right? Uh, combine attack is not bad. Dispel barrier again. Again, have the ability to remove barrier is always cool. Perform additional attack, dealing additional damage equal to 30% of the uh, attack and magic attack. So applies one stack of miscalculation at the start of the battle. And also, uh, when she Jack is attacked, can apply 20% increase uh, stamina. Ooh, which is mobility, I believe. Okay, so uh, I don't think Jack is as bad as what people made it seem to be, but I can see being a green type, he does compete against Lich and Raya, and those two are probably going to be better in PvE, right? Um, yeah, I, I, I think Jack do has his place, but for sure with all the other green characters that's available right now, uh, you know, he might not be a must-have for a lot of players. But that's going to be something that you have to consider as well. Are you guys going to pull for Season 3 characters? Uh, it's going to be a bit more complex, but uh, yeah. We have Jack, Fugulion, Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte apparently is the stronger one, right? It's the strongest one between these three. She's going to be used a lot in PvE and PvP. So definitely consider picking her out of this bunch. Uh, she's going to be the best one for a lot of players. The best choice for sure. So yeah, overall, I do think that, you know, looking at all of these characters, very, very interesting. And also looking at the differences between uh, JPKR versus Global. And I do expect it to always be, there's always going to be a little bit different, right? But um, let me know what you guys think, right? Because I'm curious, does this bother you guys at all, right? Knowing that the KR and JP, the banners there are going to be different and Global will have... Uh, a little bit more of a jumbled banner jumping here and there and switching things around and it's hard to predict what's happening. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious what you guys think overall. Maybe they'll push this forward as well uh, or maybe they'll push this backwards, right? But we'll see. We'll see how this goes for global. But yeah, this is apparently going to be the next banner 
for the I mean the next uh, swimsuit a seasonal character <laughs> for the global server so let me know what you guys think so yeah with that being said that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, subscribe let me know what you guys think I'm truly curious as always I'll see you guys again very very soon uh, yeah stay tuned have a nice day goodbye